Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Officials in Peru are investigating the lynching of a Canadian man in the remote Amazon region of Peru. Police found the body of Sebastian Woodroof, 41, on Saturday buried near where an indigenous spiritual healer had been killed days previously. Investigators say locals suspected Mr. Woodroof of the murder of 81-year-old Olivia Aravalo, who was shot dead on Thursday. Officials said they would not rest until both murders had been solved. Who was Sebastian Woodroof? Mr. Woodroof was a Canadian citizen from the town of Courtenay on the east coast of Vancouver Island in British Columbia. Canadian broadcaster CBC quoted a friend of Mr. Woodroof as saying that the 41-year-old had traveled to Peru on a number of occasions to experiment with ayahuasca, a hallucinogenic drug. Yero Willard described Mr. Woodroof as a gentle person on a journey to find enlightenment and deeper meaning. According to Canadian news portal Canoe.com Mr. Woodroof went to the Ukele region in Peru's rainforest hoping to do an apprenticeship with a plant healer from the Shipibo indigenous group. I feel responsible trying to support this culture and retain some of their treasure in me and my family, and share it with those that wish to learn, Mr. Woodroof wrote on a fundraising site. His goal was to change careers to become an addiction counselor using hallucinogenic medicine. A family member's struggle with alcoholism inspired Mr. Woodroof's decision to help fix the family spirit, he said in a 2013 YouTube video. What happened to him? Police launched a search for the Canadian after a video emerged on social media showing a man identified by Peruvian prosecutors as Mr. Woodroof lying in a puddle groaning while another man puts a rope around his neck and drags him along. A group of locals stands by and watches while the man with the rope around his neck appears to go limp. Mr. Woodroof's body was found in a shallow unmarked grave on Saturday. Peruvian officials say forensic tests carried out on his body show that he died by strangulation and that he had received several blows across his body. Why was he killed? Local prosecutor Ricardo Palma Jimenez says officials are still investigating several theories as to why Mr. Woodroof was killed but local media say some villagers blamed him for the killing of Olivia Aravalo. Mr. Woodroof had not been named as a suspect in Ms. Aravalo's murder but villagers suspected him because he was allegedly one of the spiritual healer's clients. A foreigner can come and kill us, day after day, like dogs, or cats, and nothing happens, the state does nothing, one local woman told a Peruvian official on television, according to the Washington Post. We want the communities of the Amazon to know that there is justice, Jimenez told TV Peru in Ukele. But not justice by their own hands.